So not a setup guy this much, but I thought I'd get the news out there for my Amiga subscribers and everyone else who watches this video that the A500 Mini has just had an update. Well, actually, it came in December and I've just literally come across it. But a little while back, somebody was telling me that they barely rule any updates out, firmware updates for the A500 Mini. Um, so we're going to take a look at this. Uh, this is the official retro game stop biz who manufactures uh, produces the A500 alongside with their C64 Mini and Maxi. Uh, so A500 firmware update. So we got bug fixes and everything else which comes along with these updates. Uh, so if we go to the A500 firmware update page, it's going to tell you just here that the latest version then, which released in December I believe, is version 1.2.1. Uh, it's got an additional game added uh, named Time Bandit. Uh, it's also adding support for custom controller configurations. So in other words, if you don't like the default standard control buttons, how they're mapped out, then it's going to allow you to configure them yourself, map them out yourself. Uh, it's also going to be correcting the speed of Amiga 500 WHD load games uh, that apparently are very much speeded up, so it says just here. Uh, personally, I've not come across that problem, but it must be an issue for uh, some users of WHD load games out there. And it's also going to allow us to use a second controller to be used with ADF files. Uh, so we got fixes where USB stick can appear corrupt after removing from the A500 Mini. Again, I've not personally had this issue myself. Myself and I've been using the 500 Mini uh, since my October birthday. Um, we also got improved scheme action translations and minor bug fixes. So Time Bandit itself, I know of this game, I don't think I personally played it, but this is the new free game which you're going to be getting with the 1.21 update. Uh, so everything's just there and of course this is going to be the default buttons but like it just said uh, the new update is going to allow us to customize the way we configure a controller so that's pretty interesting uh, what else have we got here if we just go to the 1.21 here it's going to tell us a little bit more in depth of what we can do with this so creating custom controller configurations uh, you've got all the information you need just there and if you've not yet updated your Amiga Mini or your A500 Mini, I totally suggest you do it. Um, I actually did an unboxing video back in October and I showed you in that video how to update the firmware. Uh, pretty simple, you just get a FAT32 USB stick and you pop on the firmware, but that can be found in that unboxing video which I did. So. That's it for this little Amiga or A500 Mini update. I hope it helps someone out there. So until next time, stay retro.